Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your bonus May uh, 2021 reading. Uh, we are going to do a, uh, this is going to be a head over heart reading, or head um, and your heart reading, actually. One of my favorite people of all time, Greg Braden, says when your head and your heart become one, you can move mountains. So we're going to take a look in your first row here at your head. In your second row, we're going to take a look at your heart and where your heart is at. And in your last row, we are going to look at how we can smash the two things together and help you move some mountains. Uh, as I've been saying, these mountains could be accomplishments, things like goals, things that you want to achieve, could be challenges you want to overcome, could be anything. So again, just because I'm saying mountains doesn't mean it's like something bad that you're dealing with or like some sort of major challenge. Again, it could just be a goal, a wish, a dream, something you're trying to accomplish. You know, the whole point of the head and your heart becoming one is to manifest. So basically anything you want to manifest at this time, that's what we're going to be looking at. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time, Capricorn. But uh, Capricorn... In the area of your head, you have the rebirth card here. This card, it just, it's the bat spirit says, a rebirth is assured. I feel like you're kind of like confident that things are changing in your life or will change in a lot of ways. And I, I actually feel that if you're not, that being confident that things will change will help your head kind of come into alignment with your heart very well as well. So I would, you know, try to just be confident at this time. I kind of, I, I'm getting more of the word confidence on this card more than anything. So I feel that being confident is going to be very important for you and being confident that things can change and things are not always going to be the same in your life. You know, being confident in that will probably help your head and your heart become one. And that's what I really feel this is saying. That's all I get. <laughs> here for you Capricorn yeah you have this wombat spirit it says be at home I mean it might be a good time for you you know as far as your head is concerned your head might be seeking comfort and things like that as well you have the seven of swords the hermit and the ace of cups here I like this I mean your head your heart would be the ace of cups by the way and it's showing up in the area of your head. So that's pretty interesting here, Capricorn. But I, f I do feel kind of like you are kind of coming into alignment. Again, this reading is not meant to be positive or negative. Um, so the Seven of Swords here, it, it you know, Seven of Swords, yes, it means lying, cheating, stealing, but that's not the point of this reading. This is not a love reading. This is uh, everything that you're trying to do reading. And the Seven of Swords can just represent fears it can represent the fears of uh, kind of pretty much anything. In a lot of ways, I feel like it's saying that your head at this time is trying to make things perfect. The Seven of Swords, the challenge with the Seven of Swords is making things perfect. Um, normally on a traditional Seven of Swords, the guy on the Seven of Swords, he's kind of holding five swords. There's two swords behind him. He is stealing those swords from an army that's in the background of the card. And it kind of represents the fact that he's trying to make everything perfect or he's trying to protect himself from things that could potentially happen but haven't happened yet. You know, he is trying to do thing, something where he's not even sure if it's going to happen in the first place. And he's so focused on protecting himself from something that could happen that he's about to step into a trap that is also on some cards and some decks. There's like a noose on the ground. But it does represent potentially stepping into a trap because you're too focused on something that could happen, not what will happen, right? Right. So I do feel this card is like saying, stop trying to be, you know, use your brain to be overly protective of things that might never happen. It's like too many worries, too many stories in your head with that Seven of Swords I'm getting. The Hermit could also say that you are kind of like in Hermit mode here, but I feel like you need to realize that you're like out of Hermit mode. I feel like you need to realize that you are kind of being set free in a lot of ways. The Hermit has climbed to the top of a mountain. <laughs> he is normally, in this card it's a she, but she's kind of like at the top of this lighthouse here. She is the guiding light for these ships that are on this card. The Hermit is a card of being a guiding light. He is shining his lantern out, and not only is he guiding himself through the darkness, but he is also like an example, or he could also be a teacher for other people. He repre the, the hermit represents wisdom. He has a gray cloak, and he also has a gray beard. Gray cloaks and gray beards in the tarot represent wisdom. So I feel for some of you that your head really wants you to kind of like put something out into the world or share something with people in your life. It's going to cause your heart to overflow, which is exactly what we want to happen in this reading, by the way, Capricorn. So uh, we're already off to a good start. The only thing is I would get out of your head with that Seven of Swords there. It's funny that it's showing up in the area of your head, but I feel like you need to get out, get out of your head. 
Seven of Wands here. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. Two sevens is my clue for internal fears don't exist. So I do feel you need to let go of your fears at this time. You have the Queen of Pentacles. You are you have more than enough resources to share with the world here. And the Knight of Swords as well. Knight of Swords, I feel, is talking about kind of rushing to me, I feel it's also talking about momentum for you here, Capricorn. I feel like you're either trying to build momentum or it's like you're trying to move things forward faster in your life. In a lot of ways, I feel like it's more like de determination energy. I feel like the more like sure of yourself you are at this, at this time, the better uh, with that first row. That Queen of Pentacles is you, Capricorn, showing up with the Hermit. I feel like it's saying that you are embracing that Hermit energy at this time, that you are embracing that uh, teacher type energy, but also that energy of having overcome something very great or, you know, something that was very challenging for you. Uh, you know, based off your astrology, that makes sense to me that, you know, that you have would have recently overcome something like a major challenge or something. In your next row here for your heart, you have the leg up card. So I like I feel like you're hoping for a leg up. I feel like you're hoping that you're going to be lifted up from something here, Capricorn. Yeah, it's like you're in this in between time. It's like you're you're kind of like at, you're coming out of the cold. You know, I I love this card. It's like you're just your life is about to get more exciting. You're about to step through here. It's almost like you feel like you need help or you need to be saved, but you don't. So I feel that you are. It's like you are making a transition here. Is what this is saying. You have the Eight of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the King of Swords here. And again, this is all uh, what your heart is feeling at this time. The Eight of Cups is like knowing that you need to walk away from something that, you, and knowing that you need to walk away from things that no longer serve you in general. I do feel like this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Six of Swords. Six of Swords is a card of moving on to calmer shores, right? But you have to go through the choppy waters to get to the calmer shores in the first place. And so I do feel that for some of you, you could be leaving something established in your life. You could be leaving a, a relationship, a business, a job, pretty much something. But your heart is kind of like. Having having a hard time maybe moving on from, for, from something. that I'm getting that for some of you here in this row. For others, you have been through a rite of passage is what this row is saying. You have been through this darkness. You have been through this, you know, you have been through something very challenging here. And now I feel like it's time to kind of shine your inner light. Again, normally the hermit has the star inside his lantern. You have this star right up here. You also have an anchor down here, Capricorn. And on this card here, I have been taking this to mean that the star, it's like she's holding on to this or she could be grabbing onto this rope here with the star and the anchor. I feel like you need to cut off the anchor and allow your dreams to lift you up, right? It's like she could almost be lifted up to the heavens, into the, into the stars if she wanted to. You have this starfish card at the end, but it's like she has to cut this anchor. Now the anchor, you know, in the Six of Swords, there's normally a child in the boat as well, which can represent baggage. So it's almost like you need to release something completely from your past to be successful. Yeah, to gain this right here. Uh, let's see here, and let's clarify. You have the magician, new beginning, hoping for a new beginning. The magician is pointing towards the fool. The fool is a new journey. <laughs> so in a lot of ways, I feel like it's saying you're going on this new journey. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, definitely hoping for a new opportunity. And the uh, death card, major transformation or change. Yeah, I feel like you're hoping for something that has like more potential in your life. The Ace of Pentacles is a really good card, obviously. It is a card of an opportunity and, and a, a very abundant opportunity at that, Capricorn. But it's like you're still waiting for the opportunity. You're, you're waiting for some sort of opportunity to come in. You're waiting for something to, you know, kind of like, that, you're waiting for something that looks exciting and also stable, I feel, with that Ace of Pentacles. So it's like if you're waiting for a job, I feel like you're waiting for a job that's gonna be just a good job, plain and simple. If you're waiting for a relationship, it's like you're waiting for something that you feel is more has more long-term potential with the Ace of Pentacles because the Ace of Pentacles is a card of marriage. So it's like your heart is waiting for something that is kind of like more, that has more long-term potential. That's the best way I could say it. I, I thought I was going to say something else, but no. <laughs> That's all I got for you here. Uh, I feel like your heart is ready to create as well with that Magician card. The Magician just says your heart knows exactly what it needs to do energetically to create this new beginning. Again, the Magician is pointing towards this Fool card. So let's see. Uh, putting the two together, uh, how do you move mountains when you're, and how do you get your head and your heart into alignment here to do so, Capricorn? You have the Starfish Spirit. It's a card of like needing to look at multiple different directions. Again, the Starfish can move in any direction it wants, right? It can move this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and it doesn't matter. So I feel like you need to realize that no matter what it is you're trying to accomplish, there are many ways you can accomplish it. The starfish in, in this deck here, 
This is the um, uh, Terra of the Wild Unknown Animal Oracle. Uh, it also represents, like, on, on top, the starfish looks beautiful. If you flip it over, it looks ugly. I actually think starfish are really cool, so I don't think starfish look ugly underneath. But, again, in the book that is describing this card, it says that it's kind of like there's something underneath. Or there, it, there are there are some things that you have to do that might be kind of like ugly, right? And I don't mean this that you have to do anything bad here, Capricorn, but it's kind of like saying that to have something beautiful, you might have to do some things that are like a little bit of a challenge. So it's like to have a business. It's like the initial building of the business isn't going to be as exciting as you know when you actually are successful, right? Being in a success in, in a relationship, it's like you could be with the hottest person on earth, right? But there's there are going to be things that you're not going to like about that person. I feel like you need to realize that you kind of have to take the good with the bad. And I'm not saying there's anything bad here. I'm just saying not you know nothing is perfect, and that's what that starfish I feel like is saying. It's like once you realize that there is no perfect time for you to start something, there is no perfect relationship, there is no perfect, perfect, perfect. Once you realize that, then you're going to get exactly what you want. <laughs> Probably something that's pretty damn perfect is what I would say to you, Cap. Capricorn. You have the Fool, the Ten of Swords, and the Three of Cups here. Uh, pretty much everybody has had something in this last row of working together with other people. I blame you, Capricorn. I actually don't blame you. I blame all the energy that has been in Capricorn for the past few years, Saturn and Capricorn mostly. Uh, all that energy really does kind of, um, you know, uh, value community building and uh, working together with other people. We still have Pluto and Capricorn for a while. And um, so I, I still feel there's like this lingering energy of needing to work um, in a community or with other people, in whatever it is that we're trying to accomplish. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, other people are going to be very helpful to us, uh, even in a relationship, realizing that you're on a team, right? And working together as a team is going to be very important for you uh, with this Three of Cups energy. The Ten of Swords is about needing a change. Again, this, this reading is not meant to be positive or negative. The Ten of Swords, yes, it's like the worst card in the tarot. But again, this is how to mix these two things together. So I want to stress that. Every time I do one of these readings, people always freak out and say, you're too positive. No, no, no. That's not the point of this reading, right? It's not positive or negative. It just is. So the Ten of Swords is about moving on to something. It's going from one thing to another. So I feel that for some of you, change is what's needed for you to bring your head and your heart into alignment. What are you changing? I'm not exactly sure. I'm probably going to pull an extra row just for this Ten of Swords because I'm not exactly sure exactly what you're changing. It could be your environment, like where you live. Um, but, you know, there could be an easier way to do this is what I would say to you. So we're going to look into that. Uh, the Fool is just saying new beginning. So I feel for some of you there's like a new beginning coming in for you. Let's look into this new beginning, though, first. And then uh, we're going to go from there. So what is this new beginning? You have the Six of Swords. Yeah, moving on to Commerce Shores. It's like you're moving on from things, just challenges. In a lot of ways, it's kind of like the universe is guiding you. Your guides are guiding you at this time in bringing you into alignment so that you can move mountains. Um, you know, the, there's a guide in the back of the Six of Swords. And again, you have this card twice. So it's kind of like you're being guided at this time. You have the Justice card as well. Uh, justice makes sense. Justice is, number one, bringing your head and heart into alignment. But justice is also cause and effect. It says, if something works, keep doing it. If something doesn't work, stop doing it. <laughs> Plain and simple. So I feel for a lot of you, this is kind of like saying, to bring your head and your heart into alignment so you can accomplish your goals, wishes, dreams, you need to focus on what works and get rid of the rest. I, I've talked about this before. Saturn in Capricorn is the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule, if you don't know, is 80% of your results come from 20% of your work. So it's like you're kind of realizing what you need to do, what you need to work on. You're getting rid of the busy work is what I feel there. And uh, finally, Empress, love it. Very attractive at this time. Definitely a lot of abundance coming in for you as well. Empress is going from winter to spring. So in a lot of ways, um, there's really not much for you to do, Leo, uh, Capricorn, which is a good thing. I feel that for a lot of you, the only thing you have to do is make sure that you're doing what works in your life with the Justice card. But the Empress is like going from winter to spring, so it's like there's clearly abundance coming in for you. Um, the Empress kind of also says that all you have to worry about is having a harvest, right? The Empress is a harvest, but the wheat is still on this card. She needs to put in the work to get that wheat that is right there to have her harvest. So I feel like you need to do your work. Uh, I want to get more details on this Ten of Swords here. You have the High Priestess here. Ne definitely needing to trust your intuition. You have the uh, Lovers as well. And you have the uh, Two of Swords needing to go to new lands. The Two of Swords is your answer in this row here. Cap Capricorn, 
The High Priestess, look, she has a boat here on the card. There's potential somewhere else in your life. You have the lovers right here, being at a crossroads. Outside of love, the lovers just represents being at a crossroads, having a choice to make. The Two of Swords right here. Two of Swords normally is a lady sitting on the card. She's got her uh, two swords crossed over her chest, and there's new land behind her. The card represents the fact that she is sitting and she is where she has always been. She needs to get in the water. She's fearing being hurt by the rocks that are in the water, but if she just took her blindfold off, she would see those rocks, and she would easily be able to walk to the new land that is behind her. So this kind of says you need to go somewhere you have never been before. I've been saying this all along. I've been saying this for like the past two weeks. Everything you want is on the other side of something you've never done before. So if you're thinking about moving, do it. If you're thinking about starting a business and you've never done it before, do it. If you're thinking about going on uh, speed dating to find love, do it because that's where you're going to find love. And that will also bring your head and your heart into alignment and you'll move mountains, plain and simple. Capricorn, love it. This is a really good reading. So thank you for being here, Capricorn. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Uh, also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Capricorn, and definitely enjoy your week.